um, I'm Phoebe and uh, I'm Ingrid from the SCA and this is just a quick video on how to help you mend your clothes for um, your garb in case maybe you've got a rip, maybe um, something fell apart a little bit and you don't want to get rid of this garb because it's something that you really like or it fits you really well or you're like me and you're like I just spent a ton of money and I don't have any so I want this to last as long as possible <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a stitch called a sailmaker stitch and all you need for this is a article of clothing with a hole in it thread a needle that I should probably try. I'm using silk thread, so it's actually I'm going to use a wax too to prep my thread so that it'll pull smoothly um, through and not tangle. That's something that I wish that I had uh, listened to people earlier. <laughs> wax your thread; it'll be amazing. I love it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to switch the camera around and try it and at least get a little bit of um, how to use your sailmaker stitch to just make fabric go flat. This is really ugly because I did a different color thread so that it would stand out and then you can see how uneven my stitches were. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to anchor my thread here at the top of the hole. Um, there are a few ways to do it. This dress is probably about 10 years old, so I'm pretty sure a knot won't stay. So what I'm doing is I'm doing three back stitches. Um, if you're looking for a way to anchor your thread without using a knot, this is a really, really useful uh, tool. It'll give you just as if not more so, of a firm hold. And instead of a knot, you've just kind of woven your thread into the fabric. So then I'm gonna uh, come back out on the correct side of the fabric. And I'm doing this in white on this blue fabric, A, so you can see it, and B, because when I'd originally made this a million years ago, um, I had used white thread when I finished it. You wouldn't have the variety of threads like we do now. You wouldn't have like a blue thread and a yellow thread and a, or this is the theory. Uh, you would if you were rich, but um, you'd have like one main thread and you'd just do everything in, in that color. And it makes sense. I mean, even now designers are constantly doing a uh, different color bias or uh, bobbin thread. Um, anyway, so this is a sailmaker stitch. The easiest way to remember how to do it is basically just under over. So I'm going to pull my thread out and I'm on the side. Let's see if you can see it. I'm on the side of the hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the middle and then under to the other side of the hole. And I'm going to pull it out. And then I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to go over to where the other thread is and then go under and I'm going to pull it out. I feel like I need a GoPro for this. So you'll notice I'm doing this on the actual fabric before the hole and that's just to get a good anchor. So you see them kind of far apart there. Uh, it depends on what you're going for. If you're going for a good aesthetic, you'd want them really close together and it looks sort of like a satin stitch. Um, if you want it just kind of loose and holding everything together, you can do it like this, but I would recommend doing that with a thread that actually matched the fabric. Um, so I'm going to actually start tightening this up here. Now, if you're using a fine fabric, you're not gonna want your stitches to be super close together because what will happen is you'll start actually creating a hole in the fabric because uh, the threads will pull on your, on your warp and uh, you, you basically end up making a bigger hole than you had. I'm just gonna keep going over to the middle, over to the hole, and then under to the other side. 
You don't want to pull this super tight because that will cause a big pucker. The reason why the sailmaker stitch is so useful is that you, you're basically just sewing the fabric back together. Um, and it's not by losing any uh, fabric. So often, like when you sew fabric together, you add a seam allowance because you're gonna put the two pieces together like that and sew it down. But what that does is it gives you a new seam, which you don't want. So this is a way of keeping the fabric flat while you fill in this space the, that is left when you have a tear. I'm not paying much attention to making this pretty. If you wanted, you can trim all of this down before you start. See, now it's going to bother me because I noticed it. You can also do it while you're sewing. Just watch out for your thread. So all you do is you trim it a little bit and then you just bring it down and have it fold to the other side because this is what the other side is looking like. Where am I? Why am I not sure? There we go. So see, this is the underside. And it's basically just trapping all of this blue fabric within these stitches and reinforcing this hole so the tear doesn't go any further. And then you go and make a really, really, really bad YouTube video <laughs> featuring your fingers. <sighs> I did it again. Oh my gosh. I stage fright. There are varieties of this stitch. You'll, um, this is just one. Uh, I, I think I tell you this in every video I do. There is no one right way to do anything in, except for, well, my way but there's there's often variation to different stitches um i've seen this one you can actually instead of here in this one i'm going to the top so i'm just kind of tucking the stitch down with my next stitch um you can actually also do this stitch where you would loop it through in the bottom and it gives sort of like a chain like appearance in the middle I don't like that one quite as much just because this one I can tighten up my stitches by um, just squishing them like that. I'm adjusting some tension issues here. Sort of like lacing your shoes. You're like, wait a minute, why is that there? So just pull that out a bit. I was able to look at this head on instead of this weird angle, my stitches would probably land closer together. <laughs> but we're working with what we've got. And besides, this way you can see the stitches apart. So now that I'm out of basically the hole, I'm just going to do what I did before and keep sewing that same stitch stitch into the fabric just for a few more stitches so that I can anchor this down really tight. Tuck down to the wrong side, which basically looks the same as the inside, a little bit messier. And then I'm going to do that same um, fastening technique that I did at the top, which is just the three back stitches. And then I no longer have a hole. I have a very ugly patch job. And if I'd had a thread this color, I would have used it. But now this isn't going to tear anymore. And I have a patch on my dress. And you will too.